Yum, yum. When working with subdivision surfaces, you'll often need to manage the density of your topology. Some areas of your model will need to have denser topology and other areas will need to have less dense topology, which means you're going to need to know some techniques to increase and decrease the density of your topology as you work. So I'm gonna show you a couple of techniques that I use in order to do this. So to start with, I'm going to ensure that I'm not in item mode, that I'm in one of the three component modes, and I'm going to activate the topology pen tool, and this is going to allow me to modify the topology on the fly. So I highlight this edge on the left, hold down shift and left click and drag, and this will allow me to create a new quad. Then I'll move over to the left hand side, highlight the vert, and then just pull it down to create a sharp angle. Then I'll head over to the right hand side, highlight this edge, hold down shift, left click and drag to pull out a new quad. And then just as before, I'm gonna highlight this vert and just pull it down to create a sharp angle. Next, I'll highlight this edge, hold shift and drag out a new quad, snap it to the vert in the middle, then highlight the edge here, hold shift and snap it to the far edge to fill in the entire section. And then I'm gonna highlight this edge and shift click to drag out a new quad once again. But instead of extending forward, I'm actually gonna drag it to the right. Let me just snap the vert there to the middle and reposition that. And you can see what's happening here. The topology is turning the corner. And then I'll just do the same thing on the other side, highlight this edge, drag out a quad, and just snap it to the edge in the middle. And if I now start dragging out edges from the front of the mesh, you can see that we've reduced the number of spans from four to just two. And the way that I did this was to have this loop turn the corner behind the new strip. So I call this technique turning the corner, but I have another technique which I call the diamond. Let me demonstrate that. With the topology tool still selected, I'm just gonna move this vert back and that's gonna create the top of our diamond. So I'll highlight this edge, hold shift, and just pull out a quad. Then I'll go and do the same thing on the other side. Then I'll highlight this vert and pull it into the middle. Then do the same thing with the vert on the other side and then snap the two together. And as you can see, this creates a diamond shaped hole in the geometry. And this diamond shape has four sides. So if I fill in the hole with a polygon, it's going to be a quad. So let's do that now. Then I'll come to the front of the mesh, highlight this edge, drag out a quad, do the same thing on the other side. And once again, you can see that we've reduced the number of spans from four to just two. And the way that I've done that is by merging these two strips into this diamond shape here. So that's how you can decrease the density of your topology. Next, I'll show you how to increase it. And it's really simple. You just use the same two techniques, but in reverse. So I'm just gonna shift my viewport up a little bit. And I'll highlight this edge with the topology pen active and draw out a new quad. Then I'll highlight the vert on the far left and just pull it inwards. Then let's do the same thing on the other side. Let's drag out a quad and then highlight the vert on the far right and pull that in. Then I'll highlight this edge and pull out a quad. Let's just pull down this vert as well. Do the same thing on the other side, drag out a quad and then pull the vert down to line everything up. And once again, as you can see, we're turning the corner. Next, I just need to fill in the gap in the middle. So I'll just pull out a quad on the left and then pull out another quad to complete the span. And so once again, I've increased the density of the topology from two spans to four. Be even clearer if I pull out some quads at the front. And now let's increase the density of the topology using the diamond technique on the mesh on the other side. I'm just gonna highlight this edge, pull out a quad. Let's grab the vert in the middle and then pull it to the side. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Let's extend the quad out, highlight the vert in the middle and then pull that. Then I'll highlight this edge, extend another quad out and do the same thing on the other side. Let's put a quad out here. Then we need to make a connection in the middle. So let's just pull out a quad on this side. Let's just bring that up just to emphasize the diamond shape. And then I'll simply drag out another quad and connect it to the one on the right. And as before, that creates this diamond shaped hole here in the middle, which I can simply fill in with a quad. And if I now pull out some edges at the front of the mesh, you can see that once again, we've increased the number of spans from two to four. So one thing to bear in mind is that as soon as you deviate from a straight grid, you're going to create what are known as poles in your topology. 
A pole is essentially any vertex that doesn't have exactly four edges going into it. Once you deviate from a regular grid, some verts are going to have three edges going into them, and these are known as three-point poles, and some verts are going to have five edges going into them, and these are known as five-point poles. So in the vast majority of real-world 3D meshes, it's completely impossible to avoid poles. For example, if you're just to model a straight cube, it's going to have poles at the corners. Just bear in mind that if poles are found on curved surfaces, they can cause visible distortion. So the best practice is to try and either place them in completely flat parts of your mesh, or to place them in corners where different parts meet at different angles. But with that said, you now have two solid techniques for managing the topology in your meshes. Just remember that if you want to either increase or decrease the density of your topology, you can either turn the corner or use the diamond.